Hey guys, in this video we are going to be looking at operation keywords. So that's words that tell us that we are looking at a problem and seeing if it's addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. This is learning outcomes one, two, three, and four. Here we have a table. It says the keyword, we have sum, difference, product, and quotient. We have the operation and we have an example. So if you want to jot this down in your notebook, now is a good time to pause this video and write this table in your notebook. Okay, so our first word is sum. And whenever you see sum, that means addition. It means we're adding two numbers. So here, if you look in our example, and I'll write the plus sign there, we have the sum of 10.5 or 10 and 5 tenths and 2. So in our example, I'll write sum, and something we like to do in math is just annotate. So if I say sum, I'll write the plus sign, and I'm going to write this out here, 10.5 plus 2. And actually, in my example, I'm going to write it two ways, because you can write it out like that, but the more helpful way is to line up decimals, 10.5 plus 2. And 2 doesn't have a decimal, so I would add something after it. And now I have two different ways of writing the sum of 10 and 5 tenths and 2. So if you're writing this in your notebook, you can write both examples down because that will be helpful. The next word that we're going to look at is difference. And difference means subtraction. So if you see that keyword difference, it means subtraction. So again, in our example, we have the difference of 10 and 5 tenths and 2. So I'm going to write this two ways again. The first way I'm going to do just like the other one, 10 and 5 tenths minus 2, and I'm going to line up my decimals. 2 doesn't have a decimal, so I'm adding it, and then I'm putting a 0, so we have our problem set up that way. And you can also write it as 10 and 5 tenths minus 2. I know I have this word difference, which means subtraction. And notice my order matters for this. I can't put 2 before 10 and 5 tenths. It's got to go in order. So this number comes first, and then 2 comes second. The third key word that we have is product. And product means multiplication. I wrote the little x there, even though you won't, won't really see that x. The ways that you'll also see it are parentheses. Maybe you'll see the little dot. So we have the product of 10 and 5 tenths and 2. And we can write that example a few different ways. So the first way is you might see it 10 and 5 tenths. You might see the dot 2. You might see it with parentheses around both numbers. That's our second way. You might see it as maybe just parentheses around one number. So I'll do first one has parentheses around 10 and 5 tenths. You might see it 10 and 5 tenths and then parentheses around that. And the way that you'll see it least often, but you might have seen it in the past, is with the x. So 10 and 5 tenths x. Two. All of these are different ways to mean multiplication. If you see product, it means multiply. And the fourth key word here is, let's choose a fun color. I'm going to choose purple. Nice. Is quotient. So if you see quotient, then that means to divide. So quotient, I'm going to write that the operation means division. So here we have the quotient of 10 and 5 tenths and 2. And there's two ways you might see this. The first way is written out in a line. So 10 and 5 tenths divided by 2. Another way is maybe stacked on top like a fraction. 10 and 5 tenths divided by 2. And I know I said that there were two ways, but I lied. I'm going to include a third way, which is we're seeing how many groups of 2 go into 10 and 5 tenths. So maybe you'd see 2 on the outside and 10 and 5 tenths on the inside. And if you don't see it that way, you can always set it up. That's our long division strategy. And now we have 
four different words that tell us four different operations and lots of examples for how you might see this. Make sure your notebook has this table filled out with the keywords, the operations, and all of these examples. And one final thing that I would like to do if I was taking notes on this, is let's say I'm really feeling good with subtraction, but multiplication, I still don't remember this word product. So maybe I'll even make a star next to it and I would say, study this because I wanna make sure that I know all of my operation keywords and maybe I want to study all of the examples too. Okay guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.